You know I like to keep you up to speed on all things luxury fashion so that is what we're going to be doing today. Links as usual will be in the description box below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. Are you ready? Let's kick it off with fashion news. Okay so the Q1 2023 list index was published right and I will have that link below so that you can go and have a look through the findings and all of that but I thought we would touch on two parts of it. First of all the hottest products list. It's uh, all over the place. I don't know how to quite express how I feel about it. Uh, there's a lot going on there. But I did want us to talk through the hottest brands. I thought that we would just keep it to the top five. Number five, Loewe climbing two places, all right? And um, once again, this is just more to back up my view that, you know, I think Loewe is gonna be the hottest brand this year. So this is really backed up by, or like part of their rise through through the ranks has been because Rihanna wore a custom Loewe outfit at the Super Bowl. On top of that, they had their Howl's Moving Castle collaboration. Then at number four, we've got Valentino. Now, Valentino have been doing a lot of celebrity partnerships, placements, all of that. Um, lest we forget, they had Penn Badgley fronting their essentials line. I mean, come on, Joe from you. Recently for their sort of um, unboxing campaign, they had Anna Della Russo style windows and they also had Law Roach style windows here in New York. In space number three, we've got Moncler. So they did a huge London Fashion Week I, you can't call that a show. It's almost like an exhibition. They had nine different collaborations and they sort of had this ginormous space where each collaboration had their area. And I think it had 12,000 invitees or guests. So obviously that pulled a lot of buzz. I think their last, their latest collaboration is with Alicia Keys. In spot number two, it's Miu Miu. Okay, you saw it coming. We know that they have been on a winning streak and apparently they made 432 million euros in sales in 2022. Um, they are up two places from number four and in first place, Prada. Prada and Miu Miu, sister companies, both absolutely killing it. Prada did three billion euros in sales in 2022, and they just keep going from strength to strength. They were, their last spot was place number one, and they are still here keeping the title. Um, I thought what was also interesting uh, were the sort of rising stars as the list index. So you've got Anne de Moulamista, who has a new creative director. You've got Magda Boutram gaining huge traction, especially with 3D florals and rosettes, being a huge trend. Magda's like, come over here, I've been doing this for a while. And you've also got Kate. Completely uh, unsurprising. The girlies have been loving Kate. They just opened a shop here in New York. It's the row, but more interesting in my opinion. Dior shared their pre-fall show in Mumbai. The show was meant to be a tribute to Indian craftsmanship and uh, couture techniques, and also to highlight Indian artisans. It was held at the Gateway of India, which overlooks the Arabian Sea. Absolutely beautiful location. Indian influence was seen throughout this collection. Just a couple of things to note here. Two colours in particular, which are very particular and often used in uh, Indian culture and clothing, are Rani Pink and Jumani, which is a shade of purple. So I really like how they incorporated that in there. I like the fact that they're doing these shows outside of Europe, highlighting the craftsmanship of these areas. So that was a fabulous show. Then the Prada Cafe has opened at Harrods and do not worry if you haven't been and you're like, oh my gosh, it's gonna close and I'm never gonna have a chance. It's open until the end of the year. I am. I have to go the next time I'm in London. It looks fantastic. It's all mint and then the floors are, you know, checkerboard black and white. It's all very chic. Um, all of the, everything has Prada details. So I am talking the cutlery, the glasses, the crockery. Obviously you've got all these beautiful little patisseries. Uh, let's be honest, you're not going there for the food, you're going there for the vibes. Um, but they do serve breakfast, lunch, dinner, and like light bites. Uh, menu looks fine. Nothing really that sort of reels me in, but again, you're there, you're there for a little picture, you're there for the experience, you're there to take a little patisserie home with you. But definitely book, because they're taking reservations. Okay, the next thing is very exciting. I think so many brands need to be taking their lead. Coachtopia has been born. 
Coach have created this new line that is completely focused on circular fashion. So Coachtopia is a community of designers, thinkers and consumers founded upon the idea that circularity is the future of fashion, which means they reimagine waste as a valuable raw material and work backwards, crafting our products from recycled, repurposed or renewable materials and designing them to live multiple lives with clear pathways for take back, reuse and recycling. And I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, a lot of the items are sold out. I'm sure that m there must be like quite limited numbers in these. I don't know. I might just be making that up. But because it's scraps, you know, you have a limited um, quantity of items. But I mean, it's fantastic. I think it's a brilliant idea. I want more and more brands to be doing stuff like this. I think it's a really, really great way to challenge themselves. Now, the next thing confuses me a little bit, so I'm going to talk it through with you. V Valentino Vintage is on tour. So it started in 2021 and basically Valentino Vintage allows shoppers to bring in old Valentino items and sort of exchange them for new Valentino items and therefore you know extending the life cycle of pieces and all of that. Now there aren't really standalone shops for this, they seem to be inside already sort of established vintage stores so I'm not sure how it works like do you just wander in with your thing and go oh you know do I pick from what's new here or do they give you sort of a voucher that you then take to the store? Absolutely no idea. If you have any idea of this please leave more details below because um, it was a bit vague but they, uh, Valentino Vintage currently exists in Paris, London, Milan, New York, LA, Tokyo and Seoul. Moving into new and noteworthy. The collaborations we've got this time guys. Brace yourself, kicking it off with Balma and Evian. Yes, Evian Water. Now, this is part two, I know, of a uh, long-term partnership that um, the two brands are having. And it kicked off in their Spring Summer 2023 show with a couture dress made from 46% recycled plastic Evian bottles. So this is part two. They've got a whole collection of ready to wear and, you know, um, limited edition bottles for this. So I look through the collection. The only things that I think are quite cool are the jeans. How do we feel about paying a lot of money, because none of these things are cheap, for an Evian collaboration? Is, F is anybody that like much of an Evian fan? Maybe a t-shirt would be like a tongue-in-cheek cool thing, but then everything... I don't know. I do not know. Every summer we know at least one thing to be true, and that is that Aloeve Paula's Ibiza collaboration is coming. They've been doing this for I don't even know how many years now. So let's just have a quick, quick whiz through. You've got a basket bag completely sequined, a uh, bubble thong slide, it's a, it's a flip-flop, bubbly, and it's got a little thing for your toe. Let's just I'm sorry, we can't just bypass that. We've just got to give, we've got to give that a moment. Yep, there it is. It's a no from me. Um, what else have we got? Crop trousers in a cotton. Oh, hold on. Tank top, but then it's got some fun little details, does it? Oh, is that like a built-in necklace? Which way is this? Is that the front or the back? Multi-row resin necklace. They said, keep your little travel jewellery box at home just pack the top. We, we've got you sorted. You've got these little raffia totes. It's really cute. That, that one's really cute. I tried on the big one and I was like, oh my gosh, not worth the price. And I do agree. The small one is very cute. And I do like the fact that it's green. There's this jardiniere pocket that looks like a little, um, flower pot that's very cute double shorts it's a short it's a short within a short it's shortception some fun summer pieces then we've got area and sergio rossi this is a really really fun collaboration shoes some very interesting things so the most popular or the style i've been seeing the most of is the marquis style you've got this over the top structured bow with crystals lining the inside there's a lot happening but it's really really fun then you see the what is this called the amazona 
there's feathers on the front feathers on the back I struggle to think of ways to style this <laughs> it's interesting and just in case you were like I don't like the heels but if there's flats there are flats um however there are also ones that only have a back trim in case you're only interested in you know half the amount of feathers next up we've got durex and diesel yes you you heard me right so this all kicked off with their fall winter 2022 show that was um that took place around a mountain of condoms so um the collaboration uh, launches on the 28th of april it's going to range in price from 95 dollars to 225 dollars um there's nothing like particularly crazy you've just sort of got this uh collaboration logo and also instead of diesel's tagline is for successful living it says for successful living um so there's that <laughs> this is the collaboration that Honestly, like, I'm annoyed at myself. How did I not know about this sooner? Okay, there was zero lead up. It was just dropped on me and I'm, I'm late to the game. I'm late to the game, but it's phenomenal. And this is Axel Arigato and Mulberry. So you've got Swedish sneaker brand with sort of heritage British luxury brand that to be honest with you has been a little bit... Some people who love Mulberry love Mulberry, but I think it's been a bit tired in recent years and it needed something like this. If I had to pick, they've got ready to wear, they've got the bags are really great as well, but my two favourite pieces, the jeans, okay, little Loewe-esque with the um, branding on the knees, but I think they look great. I just, the only thing I would have jumped, I really would have, but it's a relaxed style and I don't know how it's gonna fit and it's worn low rise and you know I'm a high rise girly and all of that. But if this is your style, please go for this. Please let me live vicariously through you. But the sneakers. I mean, Axel Arigato is a sneaker brand, but oh, it's so good. You've got the mulberry turn lock on top of the laces. These come in like an aqua blue, a green, the green is so good, but the green sold out. And then, then you've got a sort of beigey orange that's got the little mulberry trees all over it. All of these are great. Um, yeah, a lot of these have sold out. I did a little add to cart moment. So if you see these on an up and coming video, don't be surprised. And it's arrived already, so I thought that we would unbox it together. My gosh. I love. <gasps> Right, Fendi and Marc Jacobs will finally launch. So we saw this in September of 2022 for the Baguette collection, which already has dropped, right? So it was a bit like, mm, when are we getting Marc? Marc is going to drop on the 11th of May and uh, this will be ready to wear. I think there are shoes involved as well and obviously bags. You've got the denim baguettes, crystal baguettes, leather baguettes with the baguette branding on it. You've got this really amazing corset as well. I think that's beautiful. But some really fun stuff here and I know a lot of people were waiting for that collaboration. So there you go, 11th of May, which is also the day that H&M Mugler drops. And to just top things off on the collaboration point, D squared and the Smurfs. Yeah. Moving into hot new items. Okay, I've got three here for you and I'm going to kick it off with Bally. New Bally is phenomenal. They've got a new creative director. I think I pronounce it Ruigi Villasenor. I hope, please feel free to correct me in the comments if that's terrible. He came from Rude. He has now moved over to Bally. Simply the shoes alone, killing it. The boots. The boots are sexy. I don't know how else to describe them. They are snakeskin printed boots um, and they just look great. They really do. But my favourite shoes are the crystal mesh mules. Okay, so I saw the like thigh high over the knee boots coming down the runway and I was like, this whole valley look is 10 out of 10. Obsessed. Love the boots. It's giving, um, you know, very much like the YSL vibe, the spring summer 2023 Chanel shoes, but in a very different way, in a way that I think I prefer. When am I going to wear over the knee crystal boots? I'm, you know, like maybe once a year? No, cannot justify. However, they do little mule versions. Sign me up. Where's the, get me in there. 
Okay, they come in navy, black, and a beige. I think I want the beige. There is a PVC strap on the inside so that it keeps its structure. Yes, I love it. They're interesting, sexy, fun, a little bit out of the ordinary. I love the fact that they did that with a mule. I think it's gonna look great on the foot. Oh, snaps for you, sir. Next up, we have the Bulgari Serpenti Buyer shoulder bag okay this is great and yep yeah, it's a shoulder bag style we've seen these styles a lot but I, what i really like about this is that the shoulder strap is a chain and it's your bulgari chain you know the way that it moves like a snake i like it i like what you're doing there with the scales it looks very chic easy comes in some fun colors you've got green you've got like a red a pink black white you've got the little snake head pulling it all together brilliant you know the uh, bulgari quality is delicious fantastic everything you would hope it to be and i just think that that style is you'll wear it a lot it's a bit different from all the other shoulder bag styles because you've got this chain aspect I like it. And finally, we've got the Louis Vuitton Micro Vanities. These come in two colours. You've got a lilac, you've got a mint. These little zip around, very similar to, you know, this little Chanel one I've got, I think. It's got a metallic, it's the Empreinte leather, but it's sort of a bit metallic-y. One has gold hardware, one has silver hardware. It's just a fun little pop, okay? You know me, my heart is TBE. Also in this collection, there is the Nano Speedy in the mint. Again, I know that those sell out like so quickly. Everybody loves a Nano Speedy, had to tell you. There you go, guys, let me know what you think. I'm gonna leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are. And in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye, guys.